Okay guys, it is the next day as you see. I've got the car all taped up or wrapped in plastic, you know? Plastic around the areas that I don't want to paint. I've done a final layer of tape over those just to make sure all those seams were good. As you can see, I've got a box fan in the back here. I actually have two of them. Got some cardboard blocking that off. Another one over there, so that's my exhaust extraction. And we are ready to do this. I've got the plastic taped up to the door in the back right here. We're uh, pretty much ready to go. Um, one thing I want to say about this top plastic is, you know, there is a paint this side up marking on it. Paint this side up right here. And uh, so technically I have it the wrong way, actually. Uh, the other side, the side that's actually facing up is the side that should get paint on it. Um, I'm told that if you get paint on this side, it could flake off, but this is the side that seemed to have all of the static electricity. So as you can see, there's already like a little something stuck to it right there. That is the whole idea here. I, I'd rather use the static electricity or, or I need the static electricity properties of it to attract the dust and hold the dust. I don't want it to hold paint. I'm not spraying paint up. I'm spraying paint down and then any excess should get extracted by the fans. So that is the whole thinking. That's that's the idea on that one. So, so as you can see, I am in my paint suit here. This was pretty cheap. Uh, you can find these on Amazon. And hopefully this will keep all of the dust that's on my clothes and everything from falling into the paint job or getting kicked up in the air and all that stuff. That's the whole point of this. Um, I woke up sick, which I'm not happy about. So I, I think I just barely have enough energy to get this all done today. This was the last day for this because I think tomorrow I'm going to be really, really sick. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and what we need to do is wipe down the car, give the car a final wipe down one more time with prep ball and then wipe that down. And then I'm going to tack rag all the rest of the car, all of the plastic and everything. I'm going to blow it off and tack rag it off just so that all of the dust is just off of the entire car. That actually helps. You want to tack rag your plastic down, even though you're not going to paint there. If there's dust there, it could get kicked up because you're spraying air everywhere. So you got to think about things like that. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I, 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 was, I was going to wet down the floor just to keep dust from coming up there, but I've got these electrical cords kind of down on the ground now, so I don't think I'm going to do that just because, you know, doesn't seem like a smart idea. So we'll just have to live with that. As first coats go, it was okay. A little inconsistent in some places. I'm working on that. Um, <clears throat> the the paint was leaking. I actually had paint land on the uh, land in the car twice, so I had to stop, kind of wipe it up, and I went over it, and hopefully it'll be all right. But I changed, you know, something on my gun, and it was just the top to the little PPS thing. 
So I changed to a better one. This one's not leaking, so we'll just keep going on like this. So that is all the footage I got of the painting. Um, first of all, I did put three coats of base coat on. Um, I just decided to only film two. It was getting kind of redundant. And I stopped filming after the first coat of clear coat because it all started to go wrong. First of all, I want to mention that by the time I took that mask off, I was sick. sick. And it's been a week <laughs> since, since that happened because um, I've, I've had the flu. Like I'm sure a lot of you had. It's pretty rough, right? pretty rough one um so everything started to go wrong uh once i started to spray the clear coat on i was getting an extreme level of orange peel something definitely went wrong i don't know exactly what it is i don't know if um i just mixed it the wrong way or something first of all that test piece that that fuel door when i was you know spraying color and and clear coat on that I was using a different clear coat that I have. I have two different ones. One's like a small batch and uh, the other is a large gallon. And it's two different manufacturers, I guess, two different clear coats. And I don't know why I didn't use the one that I was gonna use on the car. It just, it's just, it was a mistake. So um, if I had, I probably would have noticed these problems and, and the extreme orange peel. And I could have asked the guys at the auto parts store or the auto paint store, what I was doing wrong. Maybe they would have told me you have to, you know, mix in reducer with it or something. So, uh, it was, it, this was, this whole thing was a big, massive fail. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but even beyond that, even, I mean, even before that, even before I started spraying the clear coat, I was noticing other problems with 
the paint job based on decisions that I made during the prep work. I was seeing, I was, once I had the base coat on, I could already see that I was having bleed through in certain areas and there were other mistakes as well. So this whole job is just basically one big failure as it turns out. So let me uh, show you and we'll examine it further. First of all, the biggest problem is you can see this patch right here. You can see this side of the patch. This side, I, I ended up sanding it smooth enough where you can't see it, but you can definitely see it there. I didn't sand down the edges enough at all. Also, you can see the line of the hood right here. I put a little bit too much, uh, I left a little bit too much primer. There's like, a, there's like a hump right here. So I didn't sand enough of that off. So that is also a mistake. Um, one big thing that I, I mean, that's an oh well, you know, I, I, you know, I, I accept that mistake because I, I, I kind of, I guess I'm not too surprised by it. And a lot of you were in fact telling me that, you know, that wasn't going to be good enough. I sprayed too much primer on that. I, you know, I, I can accept that mistake because that's kind of a big obvious one. You know, I, I can say honestly that I should have known better. However, the one thing that I didn't know about and I didn't quite realize is that um, in some of the areas, like I guess in front of the patch where I was sanding the patch, you know, sanding the edges smooth, I kind of rubbed through the clear coat uh, down to, I guess, the base coat in some areas. I got some bleed through with the base coat, um, which you can't see now that I've put the clear coat on, interestingly enough, but when I had just the base coat, I could see it was already bleeding through and it happened up there and it happened on the side as well. So that was actually really interesting and I didn't realize that. That one I didn't know. I don't, I just don't recall realizing that that was going to happen. So, uh, you know, that one again is my bad. I should have known, but I didn't know. So now I do know. Now I have learned the hard way. What I should have done with that, with all of the panels, with all three of these panels that I was going to paint, is I should have primed the whole panel and just covered it with primer. That would have been the absolute best way to go. Um, the little problem, the little areas where I did the the little um, the filler to cover up the, the the dents and stuff, those that was fine. That worked out fine. But yeah, I just I still should have primed the whole panel. And that was my mistake. But obviously, the big, big problem with this is the clear coat. You can see just the extreme amount of texture on that. And that is the big problem here. Um, again, I don't know exactly why it happened. It's probably because, you know, I mixed it wrong. It's not as bad up here. Like, you know, you have to sort of, you can get in close, you can still see the texture and stuff. but. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> it, when you step back from it, you can kind of, you know, this panel up here is kind of not that bad. Um, I, I guess I've yet to get it out in the sun. I, I'm, you know, probably some of those areas will start to bleed through. Um, but, you know, it's like if, if, if it was just this, if it was just this panel up here, just this small area, I would be tempted to sort of, you know, sand it smooth and, um, and then, and then, um, um, polish it just to see if I can kind of you know solve that problem but it is what it is um, I I had more problems too I like I said during one segment of the video uh, I was I had the, the base coat dripping out of my gun at, at one point and towards the end of the job see this was I, I had started with that panel moved to that panel then got this panel and the air compressor was on the whole time. By the time I was at this, this part of the clear coat, I was starting to get water mixed in with, uh, with the clear coat that was spraying out. So that's why this area looks the way it does right here. It looks even you know, worse. You can just see it prominently right here. <clears throat> I, was, I was just getting water mixed in. <clears throat> in fact, you can still see there's some moisture here caught in this trap. It was getting through to here and also it was actually leaking out of here so i had to i had to keep this thing i had to keep a piece of blue cloth around it just to prevent water from dripping down into the clear coat as i was spraying it i guess i only had one air filter on the line back there and i've since noticed that people use up to three air filters in line when they do a setup like this so <clears throat> i guess that was 
Another thing that I did not know about, um, another problem, I guess this is still the same problem of bleed through, but as you can see, we got, we got the bleed through right there. So that was because I didn't primer over this whole panel. That's that clear coat that was, uh, that was rubbed away. That's where the, um, the letters were. So I got one area there. I got one area there. And let's see. I think there was one more, one more little spot right there. Little spot right there. That was another rub through area. So I got those three bleed through areas. That, that was just because I should have primered that whole panel. So, yeah, I just had multiple problems on this whole entire job. You know, ironically, this plastic worked extremely, extremely well. It kept things from falling in the paint job. Um, the extraction fans worked really, really well, especially when I was spraying the clear. It wasn't a big cloud of clear in here. It all got extracted and sent to the outside. So I would say this, this worked really, really well, and if you're going to do a paint job in your home garage. This is the way to go. I probably didn't extend this plastic quite far enough um, because I was getting one or two things landing in the very front of the job right here. It was just because I think I kept, you know, tracking things back on with me. Um, number two, I didn't, I, I didn't have enough light, especially in the back corner there. That was one particular issue I had. I should have set up more lights more lights down from the side so that I can just see the paint as it was going on. I just didn't have that. Um, you know, I read a, an interesting quote. It said, the, the master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried, which kind of made me feel a little bit better about this. As you guys know, I really, I, I've never hidden my mistakes from these videos from, on the channel. I get a lot of compliments for that and I, I wanted to hide this one, to be quite honest with you. I didn't want to, I didn't want to have this happen because this is probably my biggest mistake yet. This is painting is not something that was that's in within my wheelhouse. This I was going out on a big limb on this one and just trying something, and unfortunately it was a failure. But that's okay. Um, I there I will go on from here. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit, honestly, I'm a little bit sick of this job, this car and this whole painting thing for right now. I, I, I need a break from it, you know? I'm not going to go right into trying to fix this because just with my neighbor upstairs and just the environment right now, we're, we're out of the heat wave and into it's raining outside right now. Just, you know, a lot of things. I, I want to find, I, I want to wait and I want to find a hood and the other fender for this because that way I don't have to deal with any of repairing the hood and all that and we know this one is bent here and stuff so I just I want to I want to get a new hood for it and just kind of that'll 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 have you know that that will divide the problem in half and then it's only the the roof and the side of the car that really need to be fixed and maybe even not so much the roof let's just we'll see what happens we're going to what I'm going to do is we're going to park this car in my friend's backyard. I'm going to put it on the back burner. I'll get back to it in a month or two or three or whatever. And, you know, in the meantime, we'll locate those panels, like I said. In the meantime, I have another project that I want to get to. I want to get, I'm not going to say what it is because, you know, I'll leave the surprise for the introduction video. But that one is going to be, ironically, there, it, it needs paint too, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to, you know, I think there's room, there's enough profit in it that we can actually get that one done professionally, but it does, it needs mechanical work. So that's what we're going to get back to because I think that's just more within my wheelhouse on this channel. Um, there's one more video I want to do on this one. I need to repair the, the speakers in the door and I want to do like a, a wiring video. So we'll do that. But after that, I'm just going to put the car back together. I got to put the, the window back in and uh, the window regulator and stuff and just kind of put some panels back on, take all the plastic off and just get it back into driving condition. And then it can go and sit parked for a couple of months until I get back to it. But yeah, sorry that there's not a better ending to this one. You know, it's just kind of the way it worked out. And I, I, I really don't feel like we need to spend more time on this uh, in the, you know, it, on the channel and just kind of drag this one on and keep on going and going and going forever and who knows how it's even going to turn out so yeah we're just going to move on you know you win some you lose some it's all right 
Um, you, can, uh, pr you can comment down below all you want on my failure. You can point and laugh all you want. It's okay. I can take it. Don't worry, guys. Let, give me your comments. Whatever you want to say, it's all, it's, it's all good to me. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't matter. But I would like you to subscribe because I've got a lot more coming out in the future. And uh, if you enjoyed it, thanks for watching. I'm the 50s Kid. I'll see you next time. By the way, I did want to mention, I didn't get a good shot of this in the last video, but I mentioned that midway along on the hood, it was actually bent. And I think you guys can maybe see it right now, right here. It's a little bit easier to see it now that I've got, you know, some shiny clear coat on it. What actually happened is it's just actually, it's, it's, the hood is bent down right in the middle there. And the metal, if, if I popped up the hood a little bit, you'd be able to see, you'd see that it's kind of, it's, it's, it's sort of bent out right here, the, the little fold over section. So yeah, I know I'm missing the bump stop from right here, but this whole hood, it actually is, is bent down here. And this edge sort of sticks up a little bit here and here, right in the center. So that is actually the problem that I noticed in the last video before we went ahead and painted it. But yeah.